funny how things go around. Who'd have thought we'd be sat in here editing 4K RAW on our laptops? Amazing. All of this is possible because of the Canon C200. And we have now got our hands on one and we're gonna have a proper play with it. We're gonna shoot some footage and we're gonna see if their claim that you can get now with the Final Cut plugin, their raw light footage straight in and editing almost immediately. Now that we have some uh, hopefully beautiful rushes <laughs> shot, it's yeah. time to do uh, bring them into Final Cut. So this is going to be our big test. We're going to do everything in real time to see uh, how Final Cut handles this footage. You're seeing it as we see it. <laughs> it's Mr. Paul Ream at the controls here. Um, are you going to give this uh, to a new library uh, with a sort of, what are you going to call it? Um, I think I might call this uh, C200 RAW. Okay, that's a radical... I know what that is. <laughs> and I think when you've called it Secret Project. <laughs> and we're putting it on a separate drive as well, so although it's on a laptop. Now, first thing is, change the library so that the colour space is working in a wide HDR gamut. Um, by default, it, it, the library is starting 709, so uh, let's just import this footage off the card. Here we go, you've hit, and, you've hit go. Yeah. Find the footage. CRM folder off the card. I'm going to copy it to the library, um, although it's on a separate But I think drive. that's a pretty standard thing to do. Yeah. Here yeah. we go. Let's see how fast. This is all real time. Uh, whoa, it's like a racing car. That is incredible. That was quick. <laughs> Considering this is raw footage, that is amazing. That's amazing. And... Yeah, it's still got to render, and if you want to make proxies, it's still going to be rendering the proxies. But if you want to start a project, uh, you can straight yeah. away. If you want to start laying some footage out, yeah, game on. Again, on the project, you've got a choice here of what colour space you want to use. 709 is all we need for um, this YouTube video, but you could do your HDR and your HDR PQs and what have you. You could do that, but we'll stick to 709. Okay, so here we go. Project's there. And even let's, though this stuff's still coming let's in... drop something in. We can scrub around in real time. That that's, is raw footage that's on good. a laptop. That's that, pretty that's, amazing. That's really, really it? impressive. Shot's quite nice too, actually. Well done. But it, uh, it, it, that, that's so, so impressive that we can start building an edit straight away. You can start putting it straight in. Wow. That's a whole new workflow for me. The next step, obviously, is to have a look at some grading. So, uh, Mr. Ream, you're still in control. Could we please have a new project? Perfect. Okay. So, where we start here at the moment, uh, the pictures default normally to Canon C-Log. I quite like Arri C-Log. Okay. Oh, yeah. There's a bit more contrast in there, yeah. I think. Okay. So... Um, we start with our exposure first. Yep. Let's get some blacks. Now, I, I must, I think we, we need to make it clear you and I aren't experts no. in grading. No. And then take the whites and up. And then take the whites up. Where do you want them? 100? Yeah. Let's let them have a, the full width. And then if we need to bring those blacks down again, and then see what you want to do with the mids. Are we happy with those mids? Like it's got a okay. bit of zing to it now, hasn't it? Those yeah. whites have, have come alive. Out of as, as an experiment, let's see what happens when you push it. <laughs> oh, wow. The range you've got. That is incredible, isn't it? It is. Shall we just, as an experiment, wind the saturation right up? <laughs> now, there's a look. I tell you what, though. It's it's actually it just holds together, doesn't was, it? Yeah. No matter what you do, I mean that's that that is. I know it's stylized and it's over the top, but wow, that it's holding together. It's a really good demonstration of of, of the uh, leeway that you get. So now's the big moment. We're going to build 
and edit with our beautiful shots. We might need to speed this up a little bit. Okay, stand by on your marks, get set, edit. I think I've misjudged the Canon C200. When it came out, I really slagged it off. You did? <laughs> and I was wrong. I don't mind admitting it, I was wrong. And it's, it's all about the workflow. Uh, and it, quite clearly they had a vision. Yes. And met, perhaps they didn't sell the vision enough, um, but I've enjoyed shooting with it and being able to manipulate the results uh, and, and, and the, the colours are zinging, it's looking good. Is this the end of Log? As um, we know it. It could well be. Obviously this year we've got ProRes RAW. Yep, that's big. Obviously it's the back end of it is, is the fact that things like Final Cut can, can handle it. Okay, you're going to need a different plug-in for different versions of RAW, but that's fine, that's going to come. Yep. And uh, so, yeah, well, why, why would you want to start playing with different Log formats? Put it straight in your edit. As much as I've enjoyed the pictures from the camera, I think we, we've spoken about ergonomically, obviously, as we know, C300 that I've had for, for a long time. Just put it in a different shaped box. <laughs> that's, yes. that's all I'm asking. Yeah. It, it's, that, that frustrates me. If I was using this camera professionally, I would definitely want the viewfinder off the C700 because yeah. Trying to use that viewfinder is in, is on a sunny day like today, yeah. terrible. And, and again, the, 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 the small viewfinder at the back, physically at the back of the camera is just awkward when the height changes. Um, so you, I think you you end up turning it into a bit of a Franken rig. Yeah. However, if it's all about the pictures, then you can deal with that because quite clearly it, it's all about the pictures. And the, the C700 viewfinder is beautiful. It's fantastic. It makes the whole thing... Just costs as much as the camera, right? It, yeah. Yeah. It's <laughs> like you're adding 50% to all your costs, yeah. but it's worth it. But, yeah, Definitely but worth it. it. What I would say about in the C200's favour, I did think it was well built. Yes. There are aspects of the C300. It was the, the first model. It's a little bit, but the handle, all, all the, the handle's a bit not quite solid, but... The buttons they listen. feel solid. The buttons feel solid. It, it's, we, we threw it around a little bit. We carried it all the way up, up and down the beach when we were shooting. And actually, I, I would have confidence that actually using that day for day, for day would be absolutely fine. Yeah. It's just the ear would have everything stuck on it. <laughs> so it's a thumbs up for the workflow, thumbs up for the pictures, and a little could do better with the actual physical aspects of the camera. Yep. But I like it. I'd certainly consider this for high-profile jobs. Would this be my next camera, I wonder? i tell you what definitely will be on my shopping list for the next camera. I like shooting RAW. Yes. Whatever I get, I think RAW is the future. Is that because you don't need to expose it anymore? <laughs> <laughs> it's very bright, isn't it? <laughs> it doesn't matter to you anymore, does it? No, you're shooting RAW. <laughs> <sighs> Did you bring the sun cream? No, you ought to be careful, you'll end up red raw.